Awesome. I am so excited to hear from Bree tonight. Her and her team brought in over 4,000 in volume there at the end of February, really pushing hard. And so she's going to come talk to us some about how they brought in the volume, how she helped her team rally behind her, and how she did it all as a busy mom at the same time. So, girl, I don't want to take any of your time. Go ahead and tell us a little bit about your story and take it away. Thank you so much for having me, guys. I'm super excited. Okay, so I am Bree Stone. Um, I have been in this business for four years now, and I'm a triple diamond. And um, I honestly started the business. I was uh, seven weeks pregnant when I started and um, just basically had lost my job the day that I enrolled and was like, okay, I want to be a work from home mama. Like that's my goal. And so um, by the time I had my daughter, my first daughter, I was a diamond and got like $5,000 bonus four days before she was born. And then 13 months in, I hit double. A year later, I hit triple and now we're going prez. And so um, we've been able to be almost completely debt free. We are, um, I joined the business at 21 years old. We bought our first home at 22. Um, got married. I mean, we just honestly are living the dream and it's all thanks to this business. So we're super, I'm super excited to kind of dive in with y'all and explain how we were able to get so much volume at the end of last month. And honestly, that's not even the most that we pulled in at one period of time. Like last month was a good month, but it wasn't like an, a substantial month. Like, um, I don't know if y'all utilize host to post like crazy, but that's what we do is we utilize host to post like crazy. And I'm going to give y'all a few tips on things that we started implementing um, last year around this time and then extra things that we started implementing this year and um, together those are probably going to if y'all don't already do them once you start doing that you're going to be like wow <laughs> um, you can bring in so much volume just at, just in the last after the 25th of the month so um, okay so one thing okay you said y'all do utilize host post right yeah Okay, so post to post is like how I train my distributors. Like we do giveaways, we do team giveaways. Um, and so if y'all don't already do those, I mean, I don't know how y'all utilize post to post, but probably y'all do giveaways. Okay, so we do giveaways and it's honestly like our bread and butter. Like we, I love giveaways. I don't know how it would work this business without host to post anymore, even though it just became a thing in the last two years. Like I don't remember how it worked before. Um, so one thing really quick before I get into things that we do on host to post, um, as far as like having that accountability to get your work done every single day, one of the main things that helped us starting last year is we started this group chat with just like the core runners. So all of you that are on the zoom right now, because you're on a zoom wanting to learn and you're hungry. Um, one thing that we started doing this time last year was we all got in a chat, but you could also just team up with one person do an account accountability person. And, um, we literally screen recorded the work that we did from the entire day, every night for accountability and sent it through this chat. And it was like, we all wanted to at least get up a certain amount of host posts or get two that blew up. We wanted to make sure we sent out 200 messages every day. I mean, this was like crazy stuff and it really, really blew our businesses up. Now you don't have to send 200 messages every single day to be successful. That's not what I'm saying, but you know, just those things, you have to decide what is important to you, what you want to make sure you get done. And that as a busy mom, like that is what holds me accountable. And that is like, it helps me tremendously because it's so easy for me to get up and get up early and then start cleaning or start doing other things. And then I'm like, oh, I'll just work tonight. And then tonight comes around, I'm tired. I don't want to do it. And so you just have to have that kind of accountability. And that's helped me and my entire team a ton. Um, so one big, big thing that we just started doing is, I don't know, um, y'all may or may not do this already, but just in case you don't. So I don't know if you'll have this problem, but a lot of the times when you post about your giveaway, so this month we're giving away Apple Watch, right? We have a lot of the same people commenting on our posts about our giveaway every month, right? Like that's just the thing. You have those people that want to get in, you know, as many entries as they can or whatever. And it's a lot of the same people monthly. And so we were like, how are we going to break this up? So what we started doing is we have like everybody that comments on my posts about my giveaway, I message them and I have them post about my giveaway as well. And then you're adding all of those people to your network. Do you already do that? Yeah. Okay. So that's something that we did. We just started doing a few months ago and it's really helped 
add to your network. Um, and it just broadens everything so much more than just having the same people post over and over again. So um, that's one of the big things that we started doing recently, but also just making sure that you get up. I try and get two to three host posts up that blow up every day. Like I don't really have a specific number of host posts in general that I do all across the board. I just want to feel like I can't keep up. Like that's just what I like. That's my, that's what I want to do is I want to make sure that like every single day, I don't feel like when I'm, when I put my head on the pillow, I have to feel like I had that like adrenaline rush of messaging people. You know what I mean? So that's like one of the biggest things that we really, that I really make sure that I get done every single day on top of my, you know, six lists, my adding my Instagram stuff, my stories, adding to your stories every day. That is just like essential. You have to be adding to your stories. I'm not kidding when I say, honestly, even with host of post ton of my customers come just from stories because they pay attention and they watch them. Um, okay. I mean, honestly, what, do you have any questions specifically? Because that's really, I mean, those are the main things that we do, but I don't know if there's anything different that we do that y'all don't already do, you know? Is there anything that you would say that you changed? I mean, you guys may have been bringing in 4,000 in volume every five days all month long, <laughs> but if not, then what was some of the things that you changed and implemented there at the end of the month to really get people on fire and pulling in that volume? I know we've got a lot of newer people on here, a lot of people pushing diamond, kind of at a little bit, you know, that stage where you really don't have that working team. And so just how you were able to get them to rally and start working with you. Oh my gosh. Okay. So one thing that has always helped me, especially those diamonds that are going diamond or whatever. So even if you're going double, triple, whatever you're going for, it all starts with a Ruby, right? And so I've always, always, always gotten my Ruby and the three distributors that are underneath them in, in their own chats, just like not a group chat on Facebook or anything. Like I know we all have a ton of chats. So it may be like, oh God, another chat, you know, like not like that. Like this is one that like you're literally in constantly all day long towards till you hit your goal. And so I usually just do um, chats like text, text group chats. And I will send through like, okay, say I have, say you have, Caitlin's the Ruby and then she's got these three distributors under her right so I get Caitlin and those three distributors all in a message and I literally put how much volume that they need I put their name how much volume they need their name how much you know what I mean and then I don't make it where it's like if one of them needs like a whole 400 then I don't know how to explain this so you have this number that you need right and they need their minimum the Ruby needs their minimum right so I just like divide the minimum out between all of them. So it's kind of even, right? And then um, I get them all in a group chat and we, it's not like, hey, I need all of you distributors to get this volume so that Caitlin can go Ruby. It's not like that. It's like, you want to get your, you know, into the uh, high five club and like that, you know, you really want to, um, you really want to make sure that you're not just making it important for the Ruby to go Ruby, but for those distributors to get into the high five club, because that's a big deal. Like, I mean, it just is, that's like the beginning of your business. And so once you get in that high five club, then you can, you know, stripe a Ruby. And I mean, really, and technically you can start going Ruby ahead of time, but if they don't have those distributors under them, it's just as big a deal to get in the 500 club. So um, I get them in those group chats and then every single customer that goes through. So high five club is basically like, instead of the 400 club, now we do 500 because that it just makes more sense with the minimum. So we just say high five instead of 400 bucks. Um, so basically I get them in that group chat and say, Caitlin signs a um, hundred volume. Then she's in zero, hey, I got a hundred volume. And then we'll, we'll, I'll tell her where to place it. We'll subtract it and then send in the, send through the new total. You know what I mean? So that really keeps people motivated it keeps everybody working as a team and that is one thing that I do pretty much every single time we have especially rubies but we really do it per ruby because on a diamond chart you have three rubies right so you just have them work on their own separate terms um that is one of the biggest things that I would say that we do pushing towards a goal but um say say you're going diamond and you know, not all the time when you're going diamond, do you have a super working team, right? Sometimes it's only half your team that's working. Sometimes it's only your emerald that's working and you're having to pull this whole ruby together by yourself. You can do it. 100% you can do it. I mean, I've seen, 
just a girl on my team last month, she built her husband to Ruby in four days, literally enrolled him and built him to Ruby in four days. And she just enrolled in January, y'all. She's not been in the business that long. So if she can do that, y'all can do it too. And um, I mean, I was working really hard with her, but she did a lot of it on her own. And um, one of the biggest things that she was doing is just sending me screenshots constantly because she was very new. So how I'm, how I'm um, training my distributors as soon as they enroll, they're sending me screenshots. I'm, I probably work their businesses more than I work mine probably in the very beginning, just because if you have five new distributors that are working and they're all sending you screenshots, it kind of takes out part of your day, but it's okay because that's duplication. Like that's how you're going to build your business long-term. And so taking that week or two to be at their beck and call, it's going to pay off tenfold in no time at all. So um, that's another thing that if you have distributors that, you know, either you're new or you have distributors that are brand new and you need help or your distributor needs help, be in contact with your enroller. Or if they're brand, if your enroller is brand new too, their diamond and above leader can help you or whoever is above them that can help you. Um, they should be more than willing to be that person that's actually helping you, helping them train you if you're new as well. So um, I would say, honestly, that's the biggest things that, that we do. I mean, it's all about the duplication. That's 100% it. And if you get your distributor started off on the right note, as soon as they enroll, have them, expect them to get their first customers in their first day or two, you know, expect them, okay, we got to get your six customers. Like, let's go. Like, you know, you don't wait, wait around for them to text you. You don't wait around for them to get started. Like you get them started as soon as possible. And that's going to start them on the right foot at the right tone too. I love that. Yeah. There's so, there's such a difference between starting a new distributor and launching a new distributor. And when you yeah. are like taking initiative and being the one like in control of the conversation, you are launching them into a successful business instead of helping them start something. I absolutely right. love that. Um, I know that's one thing we brought in a lot of volume as well there at the end of the month. Um, and we did a lot with just, you know, telling newbies a goal there's you jump in and just cause you're in doesn't mean you now know what to do. And so it's like, you're in the 400 club or you need this much to be in the high five club, whatever that is. And setting those goals is always so important just to give them a target. It's more fun to work for a goal than just to work for who knows what. Um, so let me see. I had another question and I thought I wrote it down, but apparently I don't in my chicken scratch habit. Um, so you were talking about a lot about duplication. So how are you really implementing duplication? Obviously with your Ruby chats, that is incredible idea and keeping them so plugged in. Um, but how are you teaching your newbies to train their newbies to keep that duplication going? So literally, you guys, I know it sounds like a lot for me, but once you start doing it, it, it just becomes second nature. I literally have my newbies that are training their newbies send me their screenshots or we get in a group text. So I ask, ask the new distributor what they prefer. Okay, do you prefer that, that your new distributor just sends you their screenshots and then you be the middleman and send them to me? Because if they want to be that leader, like they want that new distributor to view them as a leader, right? then that's totally fine with me. Or if it's easier, I let them do a group chat and I reply and then they're kind of both learning at the same time either way. And so that, I mean, that's how I've always done it. And it, I mean, it works so well for me. I mean, I've never had an issue with it. And, um, especially say you have a new distributor that's on fire, right? She, she just enrolled last week. She's got three distributors already. She's going for Ruby create that group chat, even if they're not, of course they're pushing for Ruby, but even if it's not like end of month kind of thing, create that group chat and have yourself in there so they can all ask questions together and they can kind of all learn together. I absolutely love that. Um, so what would you say now? Um, cause like you said, you're pushing Prez. That's a big jump from triple to Prez. For those of you guys that don't know, that is a really big jump, um, in volume for sure. So what are some of the things that you're doing now? Obviously you probably have more people that you're helping promote to get you there. Um, but what's some of the, are you guys changed any of the things you're doing on the regular? Are you, you know, doubling your messages or getting up extra host posts, or are you just like consistently rocking out with what you've been doing? We're very consistent with what we're doing, but I will say I have been focused on once you get to a certain point in your business. Now, this isn't for everybody. This is for people that are 
that are, I mean, I guess it just depends. So I get this, I got this tip from Stephanie Dunn. This is what Stephanie does is she's, she mass, not mass, well, I don't know how many she enrolls, but she focuses on her distributors big time. So that's kind of what I've shifted. I, I used to be more of a loyal customer mass enroller, which the customers are just as important. But once you're pushing for these bigger goals, then it, it's, it's, in my opinion, it's, yeah, I can go and sign 10,000 volume in a month or two, but what if I taught 10 people to go do that? You know what I mean? So it's all about the, when I say it's all about the duplication, you guys, because last year, what we did is, I mean, I was signing three, 400 customers, like in a month, month and a half. Like it was insane how many customers our team was bringing in and it wasn't duplicatable to do that. Right. So like, yeah, I could sign customers all day long, but I can't tell my, I can't tell my distributors, well, why aren't you signing customers like me? Because they're brand new. Right. So it's, in my opinion, I would rather be training five distributors to all sign two customers a day than for me to sign 10 a day by myself. Now, ideally you want to do both. Like, of course you focus on both, but be very, very focused on duplicating and depending on where you're at in your business. Now, when you're going Ruby, you need those customers. You have to be the one signing, right? <clears throat> but once you get to a certain spot in your business, your, your mindset kind of has to shift a little bit into that duplication mode. You're a leader as soon as you join this business, you guys. And it's not about leadership. It's all about how the dynamic of your chart and all of that kind of stuff. So as soon as you join, you guys, your leader, your leader, if you're executive, Ruby, Diamond, Emerald, whatever you are, you are a leader. But you just kind of have to, like, once you're in the very beginning, you have to be bringing in that volume with your team. And then once, you know, you start duplicating those distributors, then, and you can do that as early on as you need to or want to, you know, if you're Ruby going Emerald and going into Diamond and, you know, you have these wonderful distributors and you know what you're doing, it just clicks and you've got it, girl, sign those distributors, like go and duplicate that because that's going to expand your business so much faster and it's duplicatable. It's not like you're signing all these customers and then in no time they're, you know, they're turning their auto ships off and then you see the sink, like it's not going to happen. You're just going to continue to grow and grow and grow. Yes. I love that. And with you guys, you know, your focus being on distributors, what are you doing right now with these $49 kits to sign like as many as possible and help people get started? Oh my, let me tell you. And another thing, hold on. I have to share this too. So one of the, um, one of the host posts that I'm doing that I'm having my um, instead of just having somebody post about my watch. So say I have somebody comment or a message, say, I don't have a lot of comments left to go off of, right off of my giveaway post. So I'm messaging people to get host to post up. One of the things that I started doing, I'm sure that y'all seen it. Cause I think corporate kind of like made this a thing, um, was when people will make a post, um, do you drink your coffee iced hot or creamy or whatever it is, you know? Okay. I'm having my my um friends post that for me so that's like a ho i turn that into a host to post y'all like those get like hundreds of comments my host to post like, went from having a few comments to like like 200 comments for a host to post for people that i'm messaging and adding so that's just like a little you know i know a lot of people were um actually posting that themselves but having it turned into a host to post and then putting like at the bottom, put those who comment or will be entered to win my friend phrase, Apple, I watch or Apple watch or whatever it is. Um, it just gets a lot of comments, but okay. So I made this post today and it's helped me a lot, but I'm also, um, messaging every single person that has ever been a potential ever, of course. So I put, um, we're getting a little crazy over here. Who has wanted to join me but didn't have the $99? It's $0 to get started right now. Comment or DM me ASAP. Only a few spots available. So it's just like this kind of post, right? <clears throat> and I know it says $0 to join. I, a lot of people are doing that. So I'm teaching people to pre-sell their coffee. So as soon as they message me, I send them a message that says, um, let me just pull it up. <laughs> So I said, Hey girl, it's, so it's $49 half off right now, but I have an easy, easy way to make it $0 and you can actually have money in your pocket today before you even join. 
So if they pre-sell the, the seven samples, right, that's $140 in their pocket. That's $80 in their pocket after they've paid the $50 to $60 to join, right? And so I have had um, two people join me just, just in the last couple hours. Um, and they are all pre-selling and you're, whenever you're teaching, I don't know how, I don't know if y'all use pre-selling ever. Um, but when you pre-sell, depending on how new you are, I don't know if y'all know, but basically they just, you know, sell their samples before they, before they join to get the money to join. And, um, I feel like it kind of gives you an idea. It can go one of, one of two ways. If they can just join right off the bat and pay the $50 that that's happened, um, that one of the girls did that. And I prefer that only because sometimes y'all know, sometimes whenever you're trying to sell samples, it's not quite as easy sometimes as just selling products in general, right? Like sometimes it just, it just isn't. And so some people may try and pre-sell and kind of be a little bit turned off because they're like, I can't even sell samples. You know what I mean? And I'm like, no. So, so if you do have people sell samples, I always send them a voice message and I'm like, listen, if for some reason you don't have people just so excited to buy all your samples, do not let that deter you. I tell them ahead of time. I'm like, do not let that deter you because half the time I can't sell samples either. Like I'm telling you it's okay, but we're going to try this first so that you don't have to be out of pocket if that's what you want to do. And a majority of the time they, I mean, it's super easy to, to sell samples now that it's, we have the system in place and that it's copy. It's not like pre-selling wraps, you know, it's a lot easier. I feel like, but um, I always do tell them that ahead of time just to kind of keep that in mind. But, um, okay. So I send them that, that message. And then when they're like, okay, t like how, tell me more. I voice message them. I explain it to them. And then as soon as they're like, okay, I'm down, like I want to pre-sell, then I will um, walk them through it just like they're a new distributor. Like I send them, okay, send this. And they say, I have them send, I know that there's like a, um, I don't know if y'all, I don't know if y'all um, have seen it or not, or if y'all someone sent it to you, but in the top leader life or chat or page, Rachel Jones has sh shared like her thing. Okay. So I like it. I'm not using all of it though. <laughs> so I, I haven't tried the group chat. It just made me like, gives me anxiety trying to do that because I'm like, what if somebody messages something negative in it or you know what I mean? Like something like that. And so I'm messaging everybody individually. Now you decide with your following what you want to do, but that's just not how I'm doing it. I'm doing individually. And, um, I just feel like that's just working better for me. I just would prefer to do that. But, um, whenever I have them message, I don't just have them say, Hey, I'm, let me pull it up. I don't just have them say like, Hey, I'm trying to join this business and I need somebody to buy this for me. I don't do that. So what I send them is, um, I tell them to send their, all their friends and family. Hey, quick question. Um, or Hey, how are you? Okay. Listen, I have a quick question. Are you a coffee lover? Like, that's all I ask. I don't say anything about how they're starting a business or anything like that. You wait for them to reply. And if they say yes, then I, they say, um, I tell them to say, so I had to share something with you that I just got my, my hands on. It's called Skinny Brew. Oh my gosh. So it's a French roast black coffee with no tropics for, for focus. It's like got all the information about um, Skinny Brew. And it says, um, I have a few sample packs to share with people I know. They're $20 for a three-day experience, shipping and, and taxes included. If you want one, send me this info. And it just has, so I literally still have not said anything about a business. You know, it's just basically like, I love this product. You need to get your hands on it. And that's, that's it. And they've actually, I've had way more people successful with pre-selling doing this than what I used to do, which was the whole, I've joined a business. Can you help me? That kind of thing. So just, just to kind of throw that out there, if you want to try that, if the other one's not working for you. I absolutely love that idea. Cause you got to think how many companies there are out there that you get to be a brand ambassador and you get 20% off and people go just buy it because you have a 20% off discount. Like, that is, I absolutely love that idea. We do some pre-selling samples. Um, I was super hesitant to do it. So there, my, my team was kind of hesitant just because I was like, well, what if, you know, they don't like use the money for the business? Like, I don't know how to do this. But I totally love yeah. what you're talking about. I think it's so, because you see if they're going to work. I had a girl pre-sell samples in a matter of like 10 minutes. She's like, got four samples sold. Let's do this. Sign customers like this when she got started. I was like, so yeah. there is, I, I think it's so good. And it, it definitely has like, it's, pros and cons. Um, 
So last question I wanted to ask you, trying to keep it closer to 30 minutes tonight because I know we're approaching month end and everyone's got so much work to get done. Um, but with everything going on now, I know times are kind of crazy, lockdowns, people out of work. What are you doing to keep the intensity going, to keep enrolling customers and be that positive force on social media despite everything else going on? So I literally haven't had one issue. Like, and I haven't made it a thing. I've, I've had people on my team say like, hey, nobody, you know, people are being negative or whatnot. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Starbucks has a line still. Like, get out of your own head, you guys. You cannot think like that. People need and want what we have. We don't have makeup. We don't have something that's optional, you guys. Like, a lot of people depend on this to, for their day-to-day -day life. Like, so many of my customers freak out when they, they're out of their product, you know? like. People want and need what we have. And so the thing is, is that if they, if they do happen, to, I'd say maybe what, like 40, 30 to 40% of the population may be out of work currently, right? And may or may not be out of their pay. Okay. Instead of asking those specific people to be a customer, reach out to them about the business. Like it's, it's almost like, so when I joined, I had lost my job, right? So I lost my job the day that I joined and um, the business happened to be brought to my attention like in, literally an hour after I was laid off. Nobody even knew that I was laid off. It was just like a God thing. So I think about it and I'm like, this is like everybody got laid off. You know what I mean? Like this is like, this is like the perfect opportunity for everybody to join because it's like nobody can help what's happening right now. Nobody can. So it's like, I don't know. It's almost like anybody that's ever said not to do a side hustle, it's almost like in your face, you should have done it. You like do it now. You know what I mean? Like, that's just kind of how I feel about it. I'm like, if y'all had all been doing this before, you wouldn't have no problems right now. You know? <laughs> so I just think about it like that. And if, and if somebody does throw that at you, like, well, I don't really have the money for it right now because we're out of work or whatever. Okay, girl, like you need a side hustle. Let me show you how to pre-sell these and you can make $70 a day just in selling five samples a day. I can get you money in your pocket today. And, and they do it every time because they're like, oh crap, well, I, I do need money. And, and that's another thing that I love about the whole selling samples thing that we can do now is that, dude, that's such quick cash in your pocket, like immediate cash every single day in your pocket if you want it. So like, I don't know, I don't know if your team sells a lot of samples. We are big into selling samples these days because they've just made it so easy. And so I'm like, I have a lot of my girls on my team, they have a goal to sell five samples a day. Cause that's five new potentials a day. That's five. I mean, y'all, when people try the coffee, they want it. Like every, almost everybody that's bought a sample from me has bought it because they love it. Like they can't live without it after they've had it. And so, um, we try and sell samples every single day, five samples a day, that's $70 a day in your pocket on top of all your other income that we can make. And so if you just explain that to people in the most genuine and excited way, when they do tell you, listen, like, you know, I, I can't do that right now because my, you know, we're not even working right now. Then throw that out there at them and they'll become a distributor, you know, but there are a lot of people out there that, that are not hurting financially and that, you know, want what we have. They just have to be shown it. I'm going to say it again for those of you guys in the back. She said that she hasn't made it a thing. Okay. <laughs> She hasn't sat there and been like, well, dang, I mean, I don't know. No, she, it was business as usual. Nothing mm -hmm. changed. And guess what? She's still selling her samples. She's still signing her distributors and she's still signing customers. I know I've seen this so much throughout our team and several other teams in the business of people like, well, I don't know what to do now. Like, oh, this, no, people are still going to yeah. spend money. Okay. If you guys drink our coffee, go two days without it and tell me you're not freaking out. Like I've got to have more. These products are going to change people's lives and they're still going to buy them. They're still going to try them for the first time, but it's going to fall so much on your perception and your view of the situation. I love it. She's just, she didn't make it a thing. So don't make it a thing. And she stayed excited. That is so important through all of it, through life, through your business. If you stay excited, you're going to be making other people excited. And anytime you can make someone feel something in a positive way, fashion you already have like a win in their mind they already yeah. want to spend money with you because you made them feel good I absolutely love that um so is there anything that you want to leave us with with people who are pushing for promotions as we're getting into the last little kick of the month any last tidbits tips anything you, you guys it's 
23rd. It is the 23rd. You have all month still. You have all month. Like, even if you have not been working all month, like you know you should have been for your goals at the end of this month, dude, you have plenty of time. Start now. Start tonight. Get 200 messages out if you have to. Like, start now, you guys, because I'm telling you, there's been so many times where I wasn't even pushing for a promotion or pushing for a certain goal of mine. And then I look down and I'm like, crap, it's the 23rd of the month. I should probably get my sh together, right? And you get it together. And by the end of the month, you're happy with yourself. And so that's not to say you need to wait till the 23rd every month. But if you have, it's not too late for you this month. Like get to freaking work and you can still impress the hell out of yourself right now. You know, like just, just get to work and do not make it a thing. And the more I've told my team this so many times with this, everything that's going on, it's very sad what's going on in the world, but keep it off your timeline keep it out of your mind, not out of your mind. I mean, I guess it's kind of like, you know, one of those things you, you have to think about, but, and if somebody on your team reaches out to you or sends in an all group message, like nobody's wanting to buy, shut that off real quick. Because the more that you think about it that way, the more that people are going to be like, Oh, I can't buy. Oh, I can't buy. Just think about, just wake up in the morning and be like, nobody, nobody's affected by this. Like everybody's fine. And if they're not, they're going to join me, you know, and just have that mindset. And I promise you, you're going to be okay.